today we are going to discuss in search of lost time by marcel proust in search of lost time first translated into english as remembrance of things past and sometimes referred in french as the search is a novel in seven volumes by french author marcel proust this early 20th century work is his most prominent known both for its length and its theme of involuntary memory the most famous example of this is the episode of the madeleine which occurs early in the first volume now we are going to see the perfect summary of all these seven volumes in volume 1 of in search of lost time also known as the swan's way this is the first volume called swan's way it follows the narrator's memory of his childhood in cambrai a small town in france the novel dwells into themes of memory time and perception as the narrator reflects on his experiences particularly his relationship with his mother and his infatuation with swan's daughter gilbert through vivid descriptions and intricate introspection marcel proust explores the complexities of human consciousness and the elusive nature of memory in volume 2 titled within a budding grove it continues the narrative journey of the narrator as he matures and navigates the complexities of love and desire Set in the seaside town of Balbec, the novel explores the narrator's infatuation with the captivating Albertine Simone and his interactions with other characters, including the enigmatic Baron de Charles. Through vivid description of landscapes and nuanced character interactions. Marcel Proust delves into themes of longing, jealousy and the transient nature of human connections. The novel offers profound insights into the intricacies of human emotions and the passage of time. The volume 3 named The Germantis Way follows the narrator's social and intellectual pursuits as he becomes more deeply involved in Parisian high society through his interactions with the aristocratic Germantis family and other members of the French elite the narrator grapples with questions of identity social status and the nature of art Marcel Proust intricately explores themes of power, privilege and the dichotomy between appearance and reality. The novel in the third volume offers a penetrating critique of French society while also delving into narrator's personal growth and self-discovery. In volume 4, titled Sodom and Gomorrah, takes a deeper drive into the social circles and intimate relationships of the characters introduced in the previous volumes set against the backdrop of parisian high society the novel explores themes of sexuality desire and societal norms Marcel Proust delves into the complexities of human relationships particularly through the lens of same-sex attraction and the hidden desires that lurk beneath the surface of polite society through richly detailed prose and psychological insight Proust offers a profound exploration of the human condition and intricacies of desire In volume 5 titled The Captive continues to delve into intricate web of relationships and desires among the characters introduced in earlier volumes the novel focuses on the narrator's fascination with Albertine Simone and his attempts to possess and control her Set primarily in Paris, The Captive, that is the 5th volume, explores themes of jealousy, obsession and the elusive nature of love. 
Proust delves deeply into the psychology of desire and complexities of human emotion, painting a nuanced portrait of the narrator's inner turmoil as he grapples with his feelings for Albertine. Through introspective prose and vivid interaction, Proust offers profound insight into the nature of passion and the limitations of human understanding. The volume 6, known as The Fugitive, continues the exploration of the narrator's tumultuous relationship with Albertine Simone and delves deeper into themes of memory, identity and the passage of time. Set against the backdrop of Parisian society, the novel follows the narrator's efforts to understand and possess Albertine while also grappling with his own insecurities and desires. Marcel Proust intricately weaves together threads of jealousy, longing and self-discovery as the narrator navigates the complexities of love and loss. Through introspective prose and vivid characterization, Proust offers profound reflections on the nature of existence and the fleeting nature of human connection. In Volume 7, that's the last volume, titled Time Regained, it serves as the culmination of the narrator's journey of self-discovery and reflection. In this final volume, the narrator, now an older and wiser man, comes to terms with the passage of time and inevitability of change. Set against the backdrop of World War I and its aftermath, the novel explores themes of memory, art and the search for meaning in life. Marcel Proust offers profound insights into the human condition as the narrator reflects on his past experiences and encounters with the people who have shaped his life. Through richly detailed prose and philosophical musings, Marcel Proust brings the epic narrative of In Search of Lost Time to a poignant and satisfying conclusion, offering readers a deeply moving meditation on the nature of time, memory, and the enduring power of art and love. This was the summary of the seven volumes that Marcel Proust wrote. Now we will talk about the most prominent kinds of themes that he has played or searched for in the novel. The first theme is clearly memory. The novel revolves around the concept of involuntary memory, where seemingly insignificant sensory details trigger vivid recollections of the past. The second is of time and loss. Time is both the enemy and the canvas for memory. The novel explores the fleeting nature of time and how it shapes lives, emphasizing the bittersweet feeling of nostalgia and the constant sense of loss that accompanies change. The third theme he has touched is love and desire. From unrequited teenage crushes to complex adult relationships, the novel delves into the complexities of love, desire, jealousy, and obsession. Characters navigate passion, possessiveness, and infidelity, revealing the multifaceted nature of human consciousness. He also explores class and society. Set in the late 19th century France, the novel portrays the rigid societal hierarchy and its impacts on individuals. The narrator navigates social circles, observing class distinctions and their influence on behavior, aspirations and even love choices. The fifth is the nature of art. Throughout the novel, the narrator contemplates the power of art to capture and preserve experiences. His own journey culminates in a commitment to writing, highlighting art's potential to immortalize and give meaning to fleeting moments. The sixth theme he has discovered is identity and self-discovery.
As the narrator delves into memories, he questions his own identity, shaped by experiences, desires, and societal expectations. The novel portrays a lifelong quest for self-understanding through introspection and the exploration of past experiences. The third, uh, I mean the last, but not the least, is morality. The extravagant lifestyle and moral ambiguities of certain characters raise questions about societal norms and the pursuit of pleasure. The novel explores the tension between societal expectations and individual desires, prompting reflection on ethical boundaries.